Hi, welcome back. This will be another 60 minute all levels vinyasa practice. We are going to be focusing on opening the front body and then core engagement and of course challenging our balance. We'll use one block in the beginning of class for our core connection. So if you have one or are going to work with one, just make sure your block ends up at the back end of your yoga mat so you can grab it from lying down. Um, if you don't have a block at home, no worries. You can do the same movements without the block and it will still be challenging. Um, we'll begin in Shavasana, lying on the back body whenever you're ready. So you start to settle in, just allowing the weight of your body to drop into the earth. And feel that support below hold you up. Allow the support of the earth holding you and to give you permission to let go a little bit more. So your body start to relax, your breath begin to deepen. As you connect to your breath, just feel the steady flow of inhale in and exhale out. And as you focus on deepening your breath, feel that simple shift in your awareness already begins to create shifts in your body, maybe your heart and mind space as well. Expand your inhales and lengthen your exhales. Feel this moment right here. Your body held by the earth, your breath, providing your body with energy. The focus of your mind just on the rise of your inhale as you deepen your breath. In the fall of your exhale as you lengthen your breath out. Maybe bringing to mind an intention for your practice or a devotion for your practice. Bring that focus point right into the forefront. Feel it in your heart, feel it in your mind and take a deep breath in through your nose. As you're ready, open up, exhale, release. A deep breath in through your nose. Open up, exhale, let it go. And one more time, big breath in. Empty all of your breath out. Your next inhale, take a full body stretch. Reach your hands up and overhead. With your exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Little rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, let both knees tip over to the left, gentle twist. Right shoulder gets heavy to the earth. Take a breath to two to your right side. So your breath create more space within your torso, through your rib cage. And each exhale, let go a little bit more, find a little bit more depth into your twist. You can choose to stay in your twist or start to roll to your left side into fetal pose. Rest your head into your left bicep and then maybe reach your right hand down for the top of your right foot. You peel your right shoulder open, draw your belly in to add some resistance as you stretch open through your right quad. 
Get your tailbone forward towards the top of your mat and scooch your right knee towards the wall behind you. And maybe rotate your right bicep slightly to the sky, but let your left ear be extra heavy. And take one more breath in. Your exhale, just gently release your right foot. Roll onto your back body, both knees come into your chest. Take an inhale at center. Exhale, tip your knees over to the right, gentle twist, second side. Maybe your gaze falls to the left as you take your one to two breaths here. Yeah. Again, feel free to stay or start to roll to your right side into your fetal pose. And maybe your left hand reaches for your left foot. You start to find that front body opening across your left side. You feel the resistance as you draw your navel to your spine and send your tailbone away. So you're long from crown to tail. Your left collarbone stretch open. So you feel that stretch reach across your shoulder, your neck, and all down the front of your left side. Kick back as you take another breath or so here. And you're ready to release, gently release your left foot. And slowly roll into your back body, both knees come to your chest again. We're going to tap, take our knees into a tabletop shape, so upside down tabletop, 90 degree bend, and then go ahead and find your yoga block if you're working with one. Take the largest piece of your block onto your left thigh, draw your belly in and down, start to lift your head and shoulders, and then you're going to take your right elbow to the block, hands interlaced behind your head. If you're working without the block, you can take your right elbow to your left thigh, okay? And if you have the block, really try to keep your left knee stuck right above your left hip point. So you have to use more core engagement to lift your shoulders. Then draw your belly down again, flex your feet maybe so there's more energy through your legs. And before you start to move, squeeze into the block with your left thigh and your right elbow. Are you feeling that resistance against yourself? Inhale your right foot forward, push through your right heel. And then exhale, bend your right knee back to 90, squeeze through the block on your left side. The inhale, right foot pushes forward. Feel your left oblique strong. Exhale, bend your right knee to 90. And one more like this. Inhale, right leg goes long. And exhale, right knee to 90. And squeeze into your block. Inhale, send your right leg long to a hover. With your exhale, push into your block. Lift your right leg slowly to the sky. And two more like that. Inhale, right leg lowers. And on your exhale, squeeze into your block, right leg lifts. And one more time, inhale, right leg lowers to a hover. And exhale, right leg lifts to the sky. And now take your left elbow to the block and open your right elbow to the right. Squeeze into your block, left elbow to left thigh. Inhale your right leg to a hover. With your exhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And two more here, shoulder blades high. Feel the lift from your sternum as you inhale to lower. And then exhale, right leg to lift. And one more time, inhale, right leg lowers. Exhale, right leg lifts. Then release, relax, bring both knees to your chest. Just let your block rest towards your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And open up, exhale, release. We're gonna go right into second side. So find that 90 degree bend through your legs. Take your block to your right thigh. As you draw your belly down, start to peel your shoulder blades off the earth. Twist your left elbow to your block. Interlace your hands behind your head. And scoot your right knee forward. You're gonna squeeze into your block before you even start to move anything else so you have that nice added resistance. On your in breath, start to push your left heel forward. On your exhale, bend your left knee to 90. Squeeze into your block. Then inhale, left leg lengthens. Exhale, left knee to 90. 
one more like this. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to bend. And now inhale, left leg goes long. With your exhale, squeeze your block, lift your left leg to the sky. Good, inhale, left leg lowers to a hover. Exhale, left leg lifts. One more time here, add the pressure to the block, breath into a hover. Exhale, left leg lifts. Now you're gonna switch your elbows, so right elbow to your block, hands go behind your head. Breath in, left leg lowers. And exhale, left leg to the sky, press into your block. Last two, inhale, left leg lowers. And exhale, left leg lifts. Final time here, inhale to lower, squeeze tight. Good, exhale, left leg to the sky. And bend your left knee to 90, relax your head. Take your block in between your thighs, a narrow setting, and land your feet to the earth for a bridge pose. Squeeze your block, press to your feet, lift to your pelvis. And hug into your block so you feel that strong connection to your center line. Draw your belly in and then press to your feet, reach your knees, tailbone slightly forward. Maybe push through your elbows, tuck your shoulder blades more behind your heart to open your collarbones wider. And try to slow down your breath. Ujjayi, inhale, ujjayi, exhale through your nose. And one more breath in. Exhale, gently lower down. Set your block off to the side. And then start to find your way forward to a tabletop shape. And as you come to all fours, okay, shoulders stacked right above your wrists, hips stacked right above your knees, open wide through every finger. On your breath in, lift your heart into your cow pose, pull your chest forward. Okay, leaning with your tailbone, exhale to your cat pose, tailbone tucks, and then round the back of your heart. Head drops heavy towards the earth. Push the earth away with your hands. And as you come through center, rise to your fingertips if that feels okay. Inhale to your cow shape again. Pull your fingertips towards your knees. On your exhale, curl to your cow. Push your fingertips down and away. And as you come through a neutral spine, keep your hips stacked right above your knees. Walk your hands forward so you can keep your fingertips tight in, or you can bring your palms to the earth and then just melt your heart straight down. Try to deepen your breath to the back of your body. And if you're on your fingertips, release your palms to your mat, let your forearms lift, and then slither forward into your sphinx pose. If you need to scoot your hips back a little bit, you can. Press the tops of your feet into the earth, push down with your forearms, and then hug your elbows in the direction of your hip points. So continue to root down, press down with your hands, your forearms, your elbows, breathe in. And exhale, draw your chest forward and through collarbones widen. And keep your belly engaged, navel to spine, and then pull your hands back into a low cobra shape. Maybe press your fingertips into your mat and drag your fingertips energetically back. And then draw your shoulder blades together, elbows are closed, lower down. And tuck your toes underneath. Knees up or down, engage through your front line, then press to your high plank pose. And a downward facing dog, soften your knees and send your pelvis up and back to the sky. Maybe paddle your feet a little bit. And push the earth away with your hands. And on an in breath, start to lift your right leg to the sky. On your exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Hug your heel to your seat. You square your shoulders down to the earth. Shine your right hip point towards the right and use your right glute strength to lift your knee higher. With three-legged dog, re extend with your breath in. Take a big step forward, right foot to the top of your mat, breath out. Then drop your left knee to the earth. Then push the your right foot with your heart and hands to the sky. And on your exhale, grab your left wrist, lean up and over to your right side body stretch. 
draw your belly in as you press your right foot down and away. Tailbone lengthens to the earth. And with your inhale, lift your heart and hands to the sky. And your exit, you're going to bend your elbows, bring your hands to prayer at the nape of your neck. And then scoop the heels of your hands right underneath the base of your skull. Okay. So to lift your heart space, let your shoulder blades scoop your sternum to the sky and support your head with your hands. Forearms hug in tight to your skull. And with an inhale, lengthen up, reach to the sky. Exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. Lay your hands interlace behind your back. Lift your chest. Then take this whole bind to your left hip. Press the back of your right hand, the right forearm to your lumbar spine. Then press your right elbow in the direction of the wall behind you as you lift your heart. Reach your left hand up and overhead towards that side body stretch again. Then bump your hips over to the left a little bit. And from here, you're gonna let your left hand come down to the earth. Twist your right hand to the sky and lift your back knee off the earth. So in a twisted low lunge, if you need to adjust your feet, you can rotate your heart open to the right. Good. Release your right hand down to the earth, lengthen both your legs. Cat lunge. And from here, take a halfway lift with your in-breath. Bend into your right knee on your exhale. Step forward to a chair pose, the foot meets your right, lift your heart in your hands. And on your exhale, goddess, your arms, maybe lift to your tippy toes. And slowly release back to chair pose, breath in. On your exhale, forward fold. To get a halfway lift like this. And with your breath out, step your right foot to the back of your mat. Push the earth away, lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Then bend your knee and open your hip, hug your heel in tight, pull your navel in. Press length into your right side and hug your right hip crease up and back. Squeeze your left seat. And then continue to breathe. With an inhale, lengthen your left leg. Exit up your left foot forward to the top of your mat. Drop your right knee to the earth. Lift your heart and hands up to the sky. And grab your right wrist. Lean to your left on your breath out. And you will pulse to your spine. Press down through your left foot even stronger. And with an inhale, you'll come to center. And on your exhale, bend your elbows. Prayer hands to the nape of your neck. And find that hug in. So feel your shoulder blades draw down together and then lift your heart and breathe as you support your head then with an inhale start to lift and lengthen up on your exhale goddess your arms elbows go wide hands are going to interlace behind your back bring length and then take your hands to the outside of your right hip okay it'll open your left collarbone across your chest and then bump your hips into the back of your left hand. As you release your right hand, reach your right hand up and over towards the left side of your mat. Draw your navel in and then breathe into your right ribs. And then take your right hand down to the earth. Find a twist, left hand goes high, lift your right knee off your mat. Good. Squeeze to your center line, rotate your chest open. Take one last breath here. Then on your exhale, release your left hand to the earth. Lengthen both your legs. As you dive across your left thigh, just give yourself one breath here. Then start to bend into your left knee. Lengthen your chest forward. Step forward to a seat, chair pulse. Add it low through your hips. Anchor down through your heels so you feel your glutes engaged. And draw your navel in as you press the earth away. Take a big breath in here. And goddess, your arms will be raised to your tippy toes. Breath out. Option to interlace your hands behind your back. Lift your sternum. Reach your fists away. And nice and strong through your tippy toes. 
calves light up. Maybe keep the bind as you slowly hinge forward towards a forward fold. Eventually allow your heels to land and then just dive across your thighs. That chest expansion, thigh lift up and over, rinsing through your shoulders. Let the weight of your head go, lean your weight slightly forward, tailbone tall. Release your hands to the earth, find a halfway lift as you breathe in. And exhale to a high plank, plant your hands, take a big step back. And press the earth away, pull your navel in again. On an in brush, shift forward to your tippy toes. Knees up or down, lower halfway with your exhale. And open your heart up to your cobra with your in breath. And thighs are strong, core is strong, push through your hands. Downward facing dog, send your hips up and back to the sky. And with an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. On your exhale, bring your knee into your nose. And one leg of plank breath in. And exhale, knee to your nose. Three legged dog, right leg lifts. And step your right foot forward to the top of your mat. And lift through your heart, lengthen through your spine. Once you have your foundation, crescent lunge, inhale rises you all the way to stand. With your exhale, interlace your hands behind your head this time. Elbows go wide. Draw your belly in. And then use your shoulder blades again to scoop your heart to the ceiling. Let your hands support your head. Maybe so you can lift a little bit taller through your gaze. And breathe nice and deep to your back body. On your exhale, lean forward, airplane your arms. Shift your weight to your right foot. To your pose, step your left foot to the top. Get your hands to the ceiling, breath in. And exhale, hands to heart. Breathe your heart into your thumbs. Twist your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh, then rotate your heart around. Then hug elbow and thigh together on the right side, and then look down to the earth. Draw in through your belly. Weight is in your right foot. Flamingo your left heel to your seat. Take a slow step back with your left foot. You can always draw your left toes along the earth to modify. Then push into your feet. Big breath in, crescent lunge, rise all the way tall. With an exhale, warrior two, open up. On your in breath, reverse your warrior right hand to the sky. And on your exhale, side angle, lean in and down. Good, from here, take your left hand behind your head again. Roll your left shoulder open and then knit your front ribs in. And tuck your tail a little bit. Unload the weight from your right forearm. And you press your palm into your hip and your head into your palm. And feel that stretch around your left shoulder blade. And from here, reach your left hand to the back of the room. You pull in through your left obliques and a find a reverse triangle length and through your entire right side. And then from here, windmill down into a low lunge, bend into your right knee. Good. Send your right leg to the sky, three-legged dock. Bend your knee and open your hip. Stay or step over to a wild thing. Step your right toes behind you. And then smile your heart open to the sky. To get inhale here. And on your exhale, high plank pose. Breath in to shift forward. Knees up or down, slower, halfway. And then press back up. Okay, lower halfway. And then press back up. Last time, lower halfway, elbows stay close. Open your heart up, dog your cobra, big breath in. When you're ready, it's downward facing dog. Hips go high as you breathe out. So again, inhale through the nose together. And then open up, exhale, release. And breath in, lift your left leg to the ceiling. On your exhale, bring your knee into your nose. One legged plank, push your left heel back, stretch your sternum forward. Good knee to nose, breath out. Three legged dog, inhale your left leg to the sky. And take a giant step forward, left foot to the top. And once you arrive here, make sure your feet are about hips distance. Find the foundation of your body and then also your breath. 
Drag your left heel back, your right hip forward as you rise to your crescent lunge. And interlace your hands behind your head. Take your elbows wide, draw your shoulder blades together. Front ribs pull in, navel to spine. From there, scoop your heart up with your shoulder blades. With the tips of your shoulder blades, lift your heart to the sky. Maybe you lift and lean back if that feels okay for your body. Take one more big breath in. Nice and slow, exhale, lean forward, airplane your arms. Transfer your weight to your left foot. With intention, chair pose, step your right foot to the top, use the strength of your left leg, and inhale your hands to the ceiling. And exhale your hands to your heart. Send your sits bones back, your chest forward, and then use that length to twist your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Okay, first just focus on the rotation. Engage through your center and then look down to the earth. You're gonna move your weight to your left foot. Maybe start to hug your right heel to your seat, a little flamingo action with the right side. And then step or drag your right toes to the back of your mat. When you rotate your heart around, push into your feet. Make sure your core is strong. Crescent lunge, press down the reins all the way top. And when you're ready, warrior two, open wide. Left toes forward, heart wide and open. Reverse your warrior with an inhale. Then find your side angle on your exhale. And turn your chest open for this first side angle. Take your right hand behind your head. Press your head into your palm. Turn your heart, your sternum to your right elbow and to the sky. And feel that resistance between your hand and your head to create a stretch around your right shoulder. Gonna pull your front ribs in, then more condensed energy through your container at your center, your core. And then navel to spine, pressing away through your right heel, reach your right hand to the back of your mat. Hug your right ribs towards your right hip point so your right obliques are strong. And then reverse your triangle slow, push the earth away with your left foot. And on an exhale, low lunge, bend into your left knee, windmill your hands down. Lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, big breath in. Bend your knee and open your hip as you breathe out. Stay or step over to your wild thing. Bend your left toes lightly behind you and then open your heart to the sky. Then reach your left hand towards the top of your mat. With control, it's high plank pose. Come back to your center. Once you have your foundation, shift forward with an inhale. Knees up or down, lower halfway on your exhale. And then press back up. Good lower halfway. And press back up. Last time, lower halfway. Open your heart, big breath in. And then down dog, hips go high as you breathe out. And inhale through your nose. And open up, exhale, let it go. Inhale your right leg to the sky. With an exhale, bring your knee into your nose. One legged plank breath in. Optional push up, exhale. Good press back up. The knee to nose. Three legged dog, right leg lifts. Step your right foot forward to the top. Good. Crescent lunge, inhale to rise. On your exhale, goddess your arms, dip your left knee to a hover all the way to the earth. Drive through your front line, interlace your hands behind your back. Lift your sternum and lengthen your tail. Take this bind to the outside of your left hip like we did before. Wrap your right fingers around your left hip. Reach your left hand over to the right side bend. And breathe deep into your left side. You're going to start to lengthen your left leg, hook your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Prayer twist, palms come together. And rotate your heart to the right. And strong, clear legs. And press through your feet, crescent lunge, breath in. On your exhale, airplane pose, fly your hands back, lift your left leg into the air. Then take a moment here, maybe interlace your hands behind your back. And then step your left toes back into your crescent lunge legs. And then spin your left toe down into warrior two stance. And inhale, lift your heart. 
Exhale, humble warrior deck down, and you mount towards the inside of your right thigh. Maybe your hands lift to the sky. Wrap your right sitting bone to your left heel. Head as heavy bend into your right knee. Then use this spine to help you lift, push through your feet. Reach your hands to the back of your mat and slowly rise up to your warrior two. Spread your wings out wide. And then inhale, reverse right hand to the sky. Then exhale, side angle. Pause here, turn your chest open. Either take your left hand behind your head again or reach your left hand to a half bind. Left fingertips to the inside of your right thigh. Draw your navel in, front ribs condense. Option to reach your right hand forward. Roll your left shoulder back. So again, you can do this here, or you can have your left hand behind your head as well. Good. Maybe keep the half bind if you have it. Reverse your triangle, lengthen up and away. And from here, bend into your right knee, low lunge, everyone wins meals down. And you unhook the back heel. Then right leg to the sky, three-legged dock. Bend your knee, open your hip. Stay here, wild thing, step your right toes behind you. Lift your heart open to the sky. And when you're ready, high plank pose, right foot lands with your right hand. With an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. This time, hold for your breath in. Hold for your breath out. Upward facing dog or cobra is your inhale. And a downward facing dog is your exhale. And breathe through your nose. And then open up, exhale, release. Left leg finds the sky as you breathe in. Bring your left knee to your nose with your breath out. One legged plank, inhale. Hold or take a push up here on your exhale. Press the earth away, breath in. Left knee to your nose, breath out. Three legged dog, left leg finds the sky. Take that nice, generous step to the top of your mat, left, left foot lands. <clears throat> From here, crescent lunge, inhale to lift. With an exhale, goddess, your arms will be right knee comes to hover and hold or all the way to the earth. Draw in your center. Right heel presses back so your right glute is strong and let your hands interlace behind your back. As you lift your chest, take your hands to the outside of your right hip. Bump your right to the right slightly and then reach your right hand overhead for that side bend. You press your low back into your left forearm. Maybe we bend through your left knee. You're gonna start to lengthen your right leg, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Palms come together, push into your hands. Rotate your chest around. Hug an imaginary block between your thighs. And then push down, rise up to your crescent lunge with an inhale. Head into your airplane pose, fly forward on your exhale. You have the option to add in the chest expansion by if you interlace your fingers, then use that to lengthen your heart forward. Send energy back through your right foot. If it feels okay, keep the bind, lend your right toes to crescent lunge legs. Then peel your right heel down to warrior two stance. Take an inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, humble warrior, dive down. And wrap your left sitting bone in. Relunge into your front knee. Feel the lift of your hands to the sky. Head drops towards the earth. Drawing through your center, press down through your feet. Take your time to rise up, so think about reaching energy back through your hands to help you lift. Use the bind as a tool. Once you rise up, it's warrior two, arms go wide. Inhale to reverse, left hand to the sky. Then exhale, side angle, lean down. Roll open. Option, take your right hand behind your head to find a half bind, right hand to the inside of your left thigh. Draw your belly and send your tailbone away. Option to push through your feet and engage your core so you can reach your left hand out. And roll your left ribs towards the right edge of your mat. Strong through your legs, take another breath here. You're going to start to reverse your triangle, rise up and out of your left thigh. A low lunge, windmill down. Left leg goes to the ceiling, three-legged dog breath in. 
Bend your knee and open your hip as you breathe out. Maybe wild thing, left toe step behind you. Spin open to the sky. Good, to your high plank pose, unwind. Inhale, shift seat forward. Good, knees up or down, lower halfway and pause. Elbow stay close for your breath in. Long and strong for your breath out. Open your heart up, dog, or cold breath. And exhale, downward facing dog, hips go to the sky. Breathe in nice and deep. And open mouth, exhale, feel the release. And lift your right leg to the ceiling. And then take a big step forward, right foot to the outside of your right hand. Let your left knee drop to the earth. Maybe turn your right toes slightly to the right. Send your heart forward, stay here, or bend your left heel to your booty. Option to add the twist for a twisted monkey, right hand can reach back. You can drop down to your left forearm. Shift your hips towards your left heel, pull your navel in, and then squeeze your left glute into an engagement. Roll your right shoulder back and open. Send your shin forward and away. And then take two to three more breaths here. And when you unwind, you're gonna bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Turn your right toes forward. Push into your hands, tuck and lift through the back leg. And hug your right knee to your right tricep, draw your navel to your spine, half curl, right heel floats towards your seat. One legged plank, inhale your right leg back. Option to exhale, halfway down to a push up, press back up. Then bring your right knee towards your left tricep. Send your right leg through, fall in a triangle, spin your left heel down, and open your heart to the sky. Then from here, three legged dog, land your left hand to the earth, pull your right knee to your nose and then send your right leg up and back. And step your right foot forward to the top. And lead with your heart. From here, airplane pose, fly your hands back. Lift your left leg. And this time, soften through your right knee. Bring your left knee with you to stand. Maybe start with your hands at your heart. Just take a big breath in. Maybe open up, exhale to release. Soften through your right knee a little bit, perhaps. Bend your left heel to your seat, like that flamingo leg you were taking. Take your left hand to your left foot for a dancer's pose. Inside or outside grip is fine. Imagine your block back between your thighs and then re-engage your core. Soften through your right knee again, perhaps. Hand at heart or hand reaching, start to dive forward towards your dancer's pose. So they kick up and back the same rate that you lean in and down. I'm gonna take one more breath here. Now really mindful, you're gonna keep your right hand forward, your left hand back, release your left leg into an airplane leg. So an asymmetrical airplane here. And send your left hand forward to meet your right ear in a warrior three. Slowly step back into your crescent lunge, left toes land, inhale your hands to the sky. And exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. And stay here, let your hands interlace behind your head. Open through your elbow, lift through your heart. And start to lean forward, keep your hands behind your head. Shift your weight to your right foot, pull your belly in. Step your left foot to a chair pose. And then rise to your tippy toes. Front hands pull together, shoulder blades kiss the elbows wide. Stay here for another breath in. And another breath out. Slowly release to chair pose, heels in, hands reach with an inhale. Then fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, big breath in. And vinyasa or down dog. So this time we're gonna step back or flow back, choosing your own transition. You can add in, you can take away. You can always skip it all together. And then with an inhale, drop your knees to the earth. And your exhale, walk your hands forward, high hip child's pose. 
Breathe into the back of your heart. Okay, breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. Then release your forearms to your mat. So they're forward into your sphinx pose, just like we did at the beginning of class. And inhale to lift your heart. And exhale, push the earth away. Draw your belly to your spine. Option to stay here, option to lift your elbows into seal pose. And push the earth away. Option to stay here, or start to lower just enough so you can reach your hands forward to that warrior three sensation. Think Superman or woman, lift up towards the sky. Take another breath in. Hands by your low ribs, exhale. Tuck your toes underneath. Knees up or down, it's high plank pose. Downward facing dog hips to the sky. Inhale deeply. Then exhale out completely. Left leg lifts as you breathe in. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, breath back. Drop your right knee to the earth and scoot your way into your twisted monkey, whatever variation you're taking for your right quadricep stretch and heart opening. And you could be on your right forearm. And shift your hips towards your right heel, draw your belly and squeeze your right seat. And you extend your heart away from your hips. We you roll your left shoulder back and you look to the sky. Press down with your right arm and breathe. And when you're ready to release from here, you're going to bring your hands to the inside of your left foot. There's no rush in this. So they press up to your palms. Turn your left toes forward. Tuck your right toes and lift your back knee. Before you go, push through your hands. Press through your right toes so you feel your right quadriceps strong. Your left knee is going to tack to your left tricep. Hug your left heel to your seat, so you're in a half crow. Belly tight, one-legged plank with an inhale. Option to add a push-up here as you exhale. Press back up. Left knee to nose. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Take a big step forward, left foot to the top. Lengthen through your chest. Head to airplane pose, airplane your arm. Transfer your weight forward. Try not to push up. Try to pull yourself into your balance. Okay, gently bend into both knees. Draw your right knee into your belly. Rise up tall and proud. Begin with your hands at your heart. And a deeper breath in through your nose. And open up. Exhale. Might feel nice. Release. And set up for your dancer's pose. Second set. So I like to find some softness through my left standing leg. Right hand goes to my right foot. Hug to the center line, drawing the earth center. Low back is spacious and free, nice and healthy. Kick back into your right hand. Lift up through your sternum, so then kick up and back. Heart lifts up and forward. And you just find a depth that works for you and then reconnect to the center line of your body again. Reach your left hand forward, perhaps. Draw up through your belly. Right hand's going to continue to reach back as you release your right foot into an airplane leg, asymmetrical airplane. Maybe send your right hand forward to your warrior three. Bending with lightness, crescent one, right toes release, inhale your hands to the sky. Exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. Your hands interlace behind your head, elbows lift. And then you keep your hands behind your head, lean your heart forward. Find that hinge where your core is still active and engaged. Shift your weight to the left foot, share in your legs. Then we rise to your tippy toes, but sink your seat nice and low. Pull your front arms in together and try to use your upper back strength to lift your elbows higher. And heels nice and high, press into your toes. Share pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Then vinyasa or a down dog as you breathe out. And with an inhale, lift your heels. 
Exhale, meet, step a little bit closer, a couple inches in, bend your knees wide, and then step or float to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift to lengthen. Bend your knees and have a seat. You want a sip of water? Go ahead and grab a sip of water here. And we just pause and catch your breath. On this next front hip opening, or front line opening, there's many different levels. So we're gonna start, this feels okay for your body. Your knees wide, so about mat's width, big toes together. Level one, just to reach your fingertips behind you. Our fingertips can face in or behind you, it depends what feels best for your shoulders, your heart, and then to lift your chest. If you want to, you can start to lean back onto your forearms. Send your tailbone forward, maybe tucking your hips underneath a little bit more. Lift through your chest. If you need more, you can lower all the way down to your back body. Okay. Draw your belly up and in. Reach your tailbone away. And then press down through your shins. Option to press through the backs of your arms or your triceps if you're all the way down like a bridge pose to open your collarbones. And wherever you are, take three to five more breaths. Can stay where you are longer. If you're ready to transition up, use your upper body strength, your core, push the earth away. Start to tuck your elbows underneath you, pressing through your hands. No wiggle your way up and out. You can just tip to one side or the other, sweep your legs forward. Knees bent, feet at the top of your mat, sitting up for a reverse tabletop. Fingertips face your seat. Either just press and lift your heart or push down with your feet and lift your pelvis as well. Your gaze can fall back if that feels safe for your neck. If you wanted to walk your legs forward and take a reverse plank, reach your toes to the earth, press your hips to the sky and breathe. And then an exhale is gonna slowly lower everyone's hips down to the earth. Reach your hands to the ceiling with an inhale. And then slowly lower down into a half foot on your exhale. So you're gonna lower down until your low back is connected to your mat. Head, shoulders, and legs are floating. Draw your belly in. And take your hands over towards the right. If you reach your right hand towards the back of your mat. Take your right hand behind your head, perhaps. Good. Now hold here, maybe lift your left leg to the sky. And lower your left leg back down. All right, two more left leg lifts. And left leg lowers. One more time, left leg lifts and left leg lowers. So bring yourself back to center. Reach your hands forth at a little more height. Take your hands over to the left. Be left hand to the back of your mat. Maybe support your head with your left hand. Lift your right leg to the sky. Sternum reaching to the left, lower your right leg. Need two more right leg lifts, low back anchored. Right leg lowers, reach with your right hand. One more right leg lifts. And right leg lowers. Reach your left hand forward as you come back to center. Now lift both legs to the sky. With both legs lower. Last two, both legs lift. Both legs lower. Final one here, we lift. Then we lower. And bend your knees into your chest, release, relax, big breath in. Happy baby pose on your breath out. Maybe open mouth, exhale. And rock from side to side. Then keeping your knees bent, place your feet to the earth. A bridge pose, lift through your heart. You might tuck your shoulder blades beneath your body, maybe interlace your hands behind your back, putting that bind again. Pass through your arms, push through your feet. Breathe nice and deep here. If 
can stay as you are. You can lower down to a fallen bridge. This is your opportunity for a wheel pose. Take your fingertips towards your shoulders. Press through your hands, push through your feet and lift up into your wheel. Urn the Dhanurasana. Then use the power of your legs to press your heart away. If you want to, you can lift up to your tippy toes. Imagine that block between your thighs and then breathe. Get your navel in tight to get a stretch through your front line. We'll all lower out really slow. Take all the time you need. When you land, pause. Maybe just let your knees knock to center. One hand might go to your belly and one hand maybe to your heart. You breathe into your hands. Feel the length of your breath. Lengthen the space between your thoughts. Returning to a sense of steady and calm. Draw your knees into your chest. Take both hands to your reach and extend your left leg out and down. You draw your right thigh and take an inhale. And supine twist right leg tips across you on your exhale. Breathe into your right side nice and deep. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more like that, long through your body breath in. Twisting deeper, breath out. Start to roll into a belly down tree. So your right leg's gonna roll to the right. You don't need to scooch back onto your mat. Make a little pillow with your hands for your forehead. Breathe to your belly. For an additional left quadricep stretch, bend your left heel to your seat. You reach your right hand for your left foot. Pull your left heel towards your booty. Draw your belly up and in. Now one more breath in. You have your left foot release it. Now listen, we're gonna do a little upper body opening here. So take your left arm out to the left, long and in line with your left shoulder. You're gonna take your right hand below your right shoulder and start to press into your wing pose or this shoulder stretch. You can step your right toes behind you. If that's too much, you can bend your knees and stack your knees. But if you want to, you can start to reach your right hand towards your left if you're pretty open. One of my favorite variations is to find just some stability with my left leg, so maybe like a three-quarter bend. Then maybe I reach my right hand for my right foot, peace fingers if you grab my right toe, and then I lengthen my right leg to the sky. This is more hamstring inseam of right leg. Then lean back. And that's just if you have the space if you want to take it there. Otherwise, stay nice and gentle for one more breath. Now we're going to go out the same way we came in, so release any variation you have. Lengthen your left leg. Roll back down into your belly down tree. And then you're going to bring your left hand towards the back of your mat, so nice and long. That way you can roll into your back body and bring both knees to your chest. And take a moment here at center, at neutral. And then take your hands to your left shin. Extend your right leg out and down. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, supine twist. And maybe you can feel that space across your left shoulder from the previous stretch as you take two breaths. Maybe tuck your right hip more underneath your left as you breathe. Headed to our belly down tree shape. You're gonna roll towards your right. Your left knee slides out. 
You're gonna make a little pillow for your forehead with your hands. Then you have the option to stay right here or bend your right heel towards your booty. If you reach for it with your left hand, have your right heel in close or towards the outside of your right seat even. Draw your navel in gently to add a little bit of extra resistance. You have your right foot, so they release it. Come back just into your belly down. Tree pose or half frog shape. Reach your right hand out in line with your right shoulder. Into our wing pose, shoulder opener, pec opener. Left hand goes below your left shoulder. You're gonna roll open. You might need to scoot your right hip more towards the left hand. Step your left toes behind you. And you can adjust your body here, maneuver till you find your sweet spot. You find a variation that works for your legs, and then breathe. And one to two more cycles of breath. And when your body is ready to release, just slowly and gently unwind the same way that you came in. So your left leg's gonna be across you, right leg goes long. Come back to your belly for a moment so you can reach your right hand to the back of your mat. And then roll onto your back body. Start with your knees to your chest. And on the exhale, place your feet to the earth of the soles. Your feet come together, knees fall wide. Maybe take your arms into goddess arms to feel the space across your heart that you created today. And just let the weight of your knees encourage your hips open. Your shoulder blades slide down your back body, the weight of your head, shoulders, and hips all grounded on the earth. Gravity drop you in a little bit deeper as you take a big breath in. And open mouth, exhale. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. Maybe you stay here for your Shavasana. If you prefer traditional Shavasana, take the next three to five breaths to transition. If you prefer seated meditation or some other shape, you can of course move there as well. As you settle in and let your body just be received by the earth. Maybe your breath moves back into its natural cadence, just that organic rhythm of inhale in and exhale out. I'll leave you here to rest for as long as feels right for your body. Try to offer yourself at least five to 10 minutes. And honor your practice. A deep breath through your nose. Clearing exhale, let it go. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may your practice serve as your teacher. I thank you so much for joining me. And namaste.